fellows and gentlemen, and uh, how are you all doing today? So it has been brought to my attention about the deficiencies of the 18-inch guns. Now, apparently there is a bug with how the 18-inch guns work. Uh, basically, that's the best they're ever going to get. Apparently they, they don't get any better than uh, minus one, which is a shame. I was not aware of that, and uh, what we'll do then is uh, we'll allow the Empire class, well, the Empire to be built. I could potentially uh, cancel this, let's see. Uh, the Magenta. Uh, the Magenta is... what is the Magenta? Oh, it's so say uh, Empire as well, never mind. Well, we'll have to learn from this, then. Okay. Now, the uh, heavy cruisers that we designed are fairly solid, actually. Which is fairly nice. Fairly nice. Something decent to have. Uh, but for the time being, we're a little bit strapped on cash, so we'll just keep it as it is. Uh, now, we are getting a uh, lot of complaints about the Forbin class over here in the Caribbean. Complaining about their craft accommodation, but hey, they're just gonna have to fucking like it, aren't they? So there is not long left of this tenure. Right. So this is with Austria-Hungary, I don't really fear them, so that's fine for me. We do have a bunch of submarines being constructed, which is pretty cool. I don't think we'll really need many more after this on all honesty. Yep, yeah, they're complaining. Okay. Uh, so we'll just hold this construction for the time being. Well, actually, uh, yeah, we'll just hold it for the time being. There we go. We have our new submarines. Now, we should be able to uh, pursue a decent war against an enemy. There we go. That is a lot of submarines. Uh, let's see how we compare now. Uh, so, we do have 73 submarines in service. That's a hell of a lot of them. We have the third largest submariner fleet, uh, only slightly smaller than uh, Great Britain's. Though ours are pretty much entirely medium submarines, so they should be fairly effective. Okay. Now. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure what we should design. I am conscious of the fact that we are lacking in terms of dreadnoughts. I could probably get away with not building any more dreadnoughts, but I... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I feel we can make up for our lack of dreadnoughts by perhaps building more heavy cruisers. Uh, so, let's see. We have the Montcalm. Eight 10-inch guns. Decent torpedo armament. That's a lot of torpedoes. That's pretty solid. 15,000 tons, 28 knots, 7-inch bell, 3-inch deck, 5-inch turrets. Uh, advanced director. Indeed. How much is this going to cost us over there? Monthly build costs. I could afford that. We'll take a look then if we can build two of them. Yeah, we can afford two of them. That's awesome. Uh, so what we're going to have to do then is we're going to have to update these uh, ships over here. These ships do need updating. Yeah. Okay, the devastation class is somewhat outdated. So let's take a look at the uh, design here. Yep, so you need to have your fire control upgraded. Do we have quality 2 for the 15s? No, we do not have the uh, increased quality, which is a shame. Uh, we do have a little bit of weight left over, so we could potentially add to this in a uh, fashion. Maybe potentially a few more rounds in the guns there. Maybe a little bit of armor. Could we achieve another knot? We could achieve another knot. That's fair play. The Devastation class is a solid ship. Definitely a solid ship. We could increase the armor on the uh, secondary slightly. I'd have to drop some ammunition, so that may not be a good idea. Uh, we could get away with a little bit more on the top of our turrets, actually. Which, honestly, I feel like that might be a good idea. Another inch of armor on top of the uh, turrets is, is not a bad idea at all. I, f I feel quite good about that. Okay. Yeah. 
Uh, the issue is obviously we can't upgrade the armor. But what we could potentially do is actually take the Devastation design and uh, build upon it. Which is fairly decent. Perhaps we'll move the centerline guns and just have superimposed. Uh, so we'll save this design. We do have a few nods, sorry, a few tons remaining here. I might be able to get away, no, I can't get away with that. Maybe some two inch guns now, not even that. Can't do anything then. Uh, casemates, we could try to have the jewels. Uh, jewel twos. No, not even that. Okay. Uh, we'll leave it as it is then. Uh, we'll save this design and have it rebuilt in time then. Yep, right, we'll save that for the time being. Uh, but what we'll do then is we'll take this design. Uh, open design. Okay. Am I able to uh, change this and save it as a new one? Yeah, I think we can. Okay. Right. Yep. Okay. Let's remove the centerline guns. We could upgrade the actual caliber of the guns. We could go to the 17s, perhaps. Uh, so we do have the uh, 17s here. They are fantastic guns. Absolutely beautiful guns. Now, superimposed. There we go. Just try for the triples. Yep, obviously that does put us over the weight limit. Um, we could potentially drop a barrel on the superimposed guns there. So five guns on each side of the ship. Or, we remove the aft superimposed, um, increase the gun on the forward superimposed to three guns, uh, so about six guns at the front, to, uh, sorry, three in the back. Uh, change this to the jewels. There we go. Okay, the belt isn't terrific. We change it to oil. There we go, gains us a little bit of weight. Um, I could add another thousand tons onto the ship here. Of the torpedo defense. Hmm. Okay, three inches of deck armor. Four inches there. Advanced fire director. Could I have these triples? Supposedly I can. Uh, how about quads? Ah, oh, apparently we can. Hmm. Really? Though I might be better off with the jewels. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. I feel we may be better off with that just because it's harder to knock out those guns uh, rather than knocking out like one secondary. Well, basically uh, one gun. Uh, they kind of spread out more. Okay. So it's an oil. Uh, belt coverage is normal. We've increased the deck armor a little bit. Uh, we might want to up it a little bit more. The turrets are decently armored. Hmm. No, I don't think I could afford to give it the maximum uh, torpedo defense. I don't think it's really worthwhile. Are we able to actually have this? Hmm. Okay. Perhaps we add some torpedoes then. Right, they're just under here, which is a shame that we can't see them. Um, I may just have to uh, find the best place then. F and G? H and I. Yeah, almost there. We'll have to have the H and I. Increased tubes. Yeah, so we could have uh, three on each side of the ship. That does give us uh, some defense against um, smaller craft like destroyers or cruisers, that sort of thing. And should we need to, we can uh, come in close and launch a volley of torpedoes and finish the job on some kind of ship. That's fine. Uh, what's the penetration difference between the 17s and the 16s? Um, not 
terribly much. 31.2 at 5,000 yards. Uh, 29.3 at 5,000 yards. Max range is 33,726. Uh, 39, yeah, that's actually quite considerable. That is quite considerable range difference there, so we'll keep those. Yeah, there we go. Yep, that's a uh, fairly powerful ship. Not terrifically well armoured. But the Devastation class did prove to be fairly sufficient. Uh, the turret tops have been um, armoured up a little bit further. I may drop the amount of armour of the turret and actually increase it on the belt. Which uh, gives us more overall protection, I think. Yeah, I like that idea. I could potentially add another tube over here. Yep, we can. Sweet. So we increase that to quads over here. That's pretty awesome. Um, I don't think I could afford to have any tertiaries, so we may just keep this way just, just around. Okay. Uh, design it as this. Let's, uh... The Malengo. Ah, uh, so it's going to override the, uh, Devastation's design. But I think this is a good design. I think this is a improvement, obviously, on the Devastation class. Uh, so obviously it is a um, development of said class. I think it's alright. We've increased deck armor, we've increased the uh, belt armor a little bit, we've obviously modernized it, it's now an oiler. Uh, range is decent, increased the tonnage by about a thousand tons. Uh, we've gained two quad torpedo launchers, we've uh, reduced the total number of... well, have we? Uh, well, yeah, we have by like, what, one? Ish? Yeah. What was it, the uh, triples here and the two jewels there? Yeah, so we've lost like one barrel, but we've increased the caliber by two to uh, fifth. Well, sorry, to the 17s. What were we before at the uh, 15s? So I feel this is a big improvement. Ooh, deck armor. Why am I not seeing the all or nothing armor? I think I may have to actually design it from scratch, potentially to take advantage of the uh, advanced armor. So let's take a picture of this on my phone, and hopefully, ah oh, bloody hell, I'll just take a screenshot. Right, there we go, I should have a screenshot, uh, yep, yeah, there we go, okay, uh, so we'll design a ship then. Oh, I'm not seeing the AON. Hmm. Right, there we go. Ha. Huh. That's a nice looking ship. <laughs> I really do like the layout of that ship. That was a really nice looking ship, actually. Okay, uh, so we're going to get our screenshot up over here when it loads. And then we'll uh, change these specifications. Uh, so we'll, hmm, we'll drop the midship gun. There we go. Though I may be able to actually take advantage. We'll see what we can manage here. We may have the extra weight to play around with. So Ford superimposed me a quad. Right, we're only a little bit over there. Uh, we could drop in not, that's fine. I could drop some torpedo protection, which does give me a lot of room to play with things. So I think I will do that. Let's see. If we can have the uh, quads, I think I should go for that. I really don't think I... Can, I don't know, I can't remember what research we have. Though do I want to spread it out? Could have three there... Or could have the, uh, We'll go with the freeze and then it, well, with the triples, and then that spreads it out. Or should I? Um... Right. Let's reduce the total number of guns. That is a big difference, though. Okay, we'll go with that, then. I don't even know where the... Oh, these are submerged, okay. Uh, so, clear... Uh, was it H and I? Yep, there we go. Okay. Right. So we have 3.5 inches of deck armor. We have more on the turrets and on the secondaries. 
Uh, secretaries are very well armored, actually. Turks are decent. Okay. Yep. Um, obviously, I couldn't really. Aff well, actually. I could, actually. Hmm. Right. Where can I save myself some weight here? Let's have a think. I could increase the weight of the ship. That's true. Though I'd like to have a 30,000 ton ship. Obviously that's going to make it difficult here, so we're going to have to uh, decrease things and work it around. But basically, I want to have a cheaper ship. Okay. We need to take advantage of what we have. And frankly, I um, I can't afford to have a lot of monster dreadnoughts. So if I can have a few solid dreadnoughts, I will be happy with that. Right, so we could drop the armor on the turret by about two inches there. Uh, we could drop it on the uh, secondaries to about four, perhaps. There we go. That buys us some weight there. Okay. Right. I could increase that back up to five. No problem. Um, yep, we are taking advantage of the best guns we have available. Rango. It's an oiler, yep, okay. It's looking about right. Conning Tower is fairly decently armoured. The deck is further armoured. We could drop the total number of secondaries, which would give us another 400 tons. Now, how much would I need for another barrel? Okay, so I can't afford that. Okay. Hmm. Can't afford that. Uh, we could potentially afford to up armor the turrets a little bit. I could have 10.5 inches, but I'd like to go for the solid number here. How much would it cost for another? Ooh. Ooh, that's not much. It's not much. Um. Hmm. Okay. Let's go for the triples. Just because it looks better, yes, I'm aware that the quads are actually uh, less weighty, but I like the look of it, so sue me. There we go. I could afford... Uh, afford? I could afford another five rounds. Though I think what I'll do is actually... Actually, no. Let's uh, decrease this to only two tubes on each side. We're not... Hmm. You know what? Bugger of the torpedoes. What we're going to do here then is going to have some uh, tertiary guns. There we go. We could have 10 tertiary guns in the uh, triple. Is that fine? Oops. Yeah, that should be fine. We're slightly, slightly, slightly under the total amount of weight that we can actually have. Well, sorry, slightly over. We could have the Marango class. Yeah, I uh, I feel happy about that. It's a um, it's the development of the uh, Devastation class. Basically, taking that same sort of idea and uh, applying it to the modern uh, day. Um, I could have that constructed fairly soon. Obviously, I can't cancel these ones because it would cost me. But we'll go with that then in the future, I think. Okay. Oh dear. Right. Now we do have 528,000 coming in. Uh, what we'll do then is... Uh, right, so these guys, yeah, they definitely need to be rebuilt. Uh, we'll take our... Most advanced dreadnoughts. So, you're an active fleet. 
put you on active fleet. Active. Active? I can't quite afford that. Observe. Okay, these are the guys that we probably do want on active fleet. Though we do have uh, two of them on active fleet right now. The uh, GA class. Right. Ah, uh, we must safeguard our... Yeah. There we go. Wow, that's going us a lot here. Uh, so what we'll do then is... Let's put the Devastation in for rebuild. Yeah, we're fine on the global stage. Right, the Hessen. Hosen class. Only 14-inch uh, guns? That's fairly... Uh, it's quite large though, actually. At almost 35,000 tons. Seems like they've... Uh... Okay. Hmm. 4.85 million. Yeah, I'll sell that. I think it's like an actually useless research at the moment. Okay. Will we build another one? There we go. I can afford that for the time. Yep, I should be able to afford that. The Birmingham. Yep, I can afford that. Awesome. I'll just hold that for the time being. The Furious class. Yep. It's alright. Large though, very large. Hmm. That's interesting. Right, okay. Resume construction. Right. Blame the Austrians. There we go, we have our first empire. Right. We have the improved 10 inch guns. Now, this is rather important, actually. Now, let's take a look at the Mont Calm classes. Um. Okay, that's a significant improvement. Uh... Yeah, they gain like 2,000 yards in range, so we'll have to uh, see if we can upgrade them. There we go. What's the battle cruiser? What's its speed? 31 knots. Okay, that would explain a lot of things. Okay, September 1935, we do have a lot of funds here. So, our mobilization will mobilize everybody here. So, everybody's now mobilized. Right, make the agent a national hero. And in Italy, too. Lovely, jubbly. Okay. So we do have a few more obsolete ships. <sighs> yeah, these destroyers are obsolete. Hmm. I think we'll put some destroyers into construction, actually. Ah, uh, do we, do we, do we, do we? We only do have four, uh, 38. We are lacking in destroyers, so I think I will put some in. Uh, what's the best we could design in terms of destroyer? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. 
There we go, we can afford that. Empire. There we go. Sweet. Uh, this is the excuse we need. Ooh. Right. So, either way, it looks like war with Britain is on the cards. Now, Britain has 12 dreadnoughts. Let's see. Ships. Okay. So, her ships aren't that large. That's really cool. I didn't even know you could do that. That's really cool. Ah. Data. So she has uh, 10 15 inch guns. Uh, we know she has a 12 inch belt. She's not too quick. Right, so we know that she has uh, the Vengeance in the Mediterranean. Russell in Southeast Asia. But in Northern Europe, she has uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 dreadnoughts. One, two, yeah, she has a number of battle cruisers. Actually, Britain does seem to have a large amount of battle cruiser. Okay. Right. So the Ampharite and the Furious. Actually, no, the Lion is the largest ship that she does possess. The large battle crews, so she's pretty formidable. I reckon we could take the British. I think we could take them. They do have a fuck ton of uh, destroyers. Uh, sorry, submarines. Um, round about equal amount. Yeah, actually equal amount of destroyers. Huh. She does have more capital ships than we do. Though we may perhaps possess the more formidable. Perhaps? Okay, so we do have the larger ships overall. We do have the larger. It's a good thing I just actually put us into a uh, state of mobilization. Right. What? Oh. Hmm. We'll try a restrained manner so that doesn't put us into immediate war, but at least we can prepare ourselves. I don't think I feel comfortable going to war as of yet without these new destroyers, uh, but at least uh, we do leave ourselves in a decent position. Our forces can continue to train, which is awesome. Oblique penetration. I'll sell that. Right, there we go. We leave ourselves um, some decent funds here, and we are in our last month. And, uh... Okay, the Magnificent class. Right. There we go. So, that is my turn over. I hope you guys have enjoyed that. I know a lot of you haven't. <laughs> I uh, wonder how I could figure that one out. But anyway, we've made some different strides. Uh, we didn't have the chance to engage in a war, which is a shame. I was looking forward to having some fight in there. Uh, but overall, we've increased the size of the French Navy. We've added a, well, what is it, 70 submarines to the uh, fleet. Uh, we're about to add another 12 destroyers. We've added a good number of uh, light cruisers, the so-called armoured destroyer design. Uh, we have two heavy cruisers being built over here, which will give us some extra guns there, something to work with our ships. Uh, we do still have a battle cruiser being built, but that's basically the Torville being redesigned. And, uh, yeah, uh, the Devastation class here is about to be rebuilt. We'll have another Empire class, the Magenta. And uh, it is a shame about the 18-inch guns. I was honestly not aware about this, but hey, um, they're still okay. They're not as good as the 17s, but they'll do okay. At least they're big. <laughs> I, I um, was hoping to try and upgrade a lot more, but I didn't realise really the amount needed to be done. But at least we'll have uh, another 12 modern destroyers coming into the Navy to support our forces, so we should be good should war break out between us and um, either Britain or Italy. So, on to the next person then, which will be the historical gamer. So I hope you guys are looking forward to his series, I hope you will continue to watch the series. And um, yes, to finish off, thank you for watching, I hope you guys have enjoyed so far, see you next time.